Hello, um, this is a channel update video, really, um, there's not, I'm adjusting my camera right now really quick, and I would make this like a live chat, and be on the chat for seven or eight minutes, but I don't really know how to do chats, so, yeah, but anyway, I've got a lot of stuff this month, my fam me and my family, and I'm gonna tell you what I got. So, I have a HO train set at Dad's, my Dad's house, I'm at my Mom's house. Yeah, now I'll turn the TV back on in a minute, the power didn't go out, it's just been sitting there for a long time, and not being used, but, yeah, speak, back to the HO trains, I've, um, got four new ones this month, I got three of them on let go, Santa Fe 50, which is a model of a GE U36B, Um, this is a operating unit. Um, well, at least it's supposed to be. I'm gonna test it tomorrow. And... There's the front. There's the side. And there's the other side, and there's the back. And this uses um, this black kind of coupling. At my dad's house, we usually use the other kind of couplings, but this was, this was a really good cheap deal that I got for $5. So, yeah, I decided... I'm going to put my phone back on the mount for a second and until I get this next one out. This next one is Penn Central 4201. It's a nice little four axle unit. As you see, there's no couplings on it yet. Um, yeah, someone originally bought this for $12. There's out of state, but I bought it for five. Well, the people that bought it tw for $12 bought it for for a state in Akron and then they sold it for $12 again since there was the $12 sticker already on there and when the state like the owner died or something and then I got this so the weird thing about this locomotive though even though it's numbered 421 on the sides it's number 215 on the I'm going to call them headlight numbers things. I, I don't know what they're called. And if you're wondering if I have to order couplings, no, I don't. They are in here. So, that's good news. Let me set this back on the mount for a second. Oh. Um, and let's take a break from my HO Train stuff for a second. And this is my Xbox, well, my family's Xbox 360. Yeah. We got it for $25 from Let Go. And 
we got this controller. So new, new from Ga Game Exchange. Um, I'll move on to the next thing in a second. I just dropped something that I forgot about. Speaking about that, the first locomotive I showed you, um, this was in it, this metal part. Um, I think it was in there just for weight. It wasn't really hooked to anything, but I'll put it back in if needed. But I don't, it was just making a bunch of noise, so I took it out. Okay. Um, back to the HO trains. This is the only other thing we got off Let Go. This box car. It was used on the state's layout. Yeah, the Santa Fe engine, the Penn Central engine, and this Atlantic Coast Line box car were used. On the state layout, and I got them for fifteen dollars together. And this has brown couplings instead of black. But yeah, this is guaranteed to work because it is a motorized. So I don't. It's already been tested, and yeah. Now I gotta put everything back in the boxes for a second. And, um, we have these people that we know at this place called Hilltop Hobby Shop. I recommend you go there. It's the best hobby shop in the world. This other person goes there called Ravenna Rail Fan 4070. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's a great YouTuber. He has a lot more subscribers than me, but that's okay. I need more subscribers too, but whatever. But back to the hobby shop stuff. Oh, and if you're wondering why that's still there, that doesn't have a box. But the Santa Fe trailer. I know it says $10, but I got it for 3 So... Yeah, and it's basically a trailer you can put in the flat car. A flat car. And. The next thing I have is Burlington Northern 415. It's a shark nose type. My video is going to end in like 40 seconds, so I have to like hurry up because I'm going to run out of the YouTube time limit. I got some cat. I got two Lionel catalogs in Wellington. I got 2019 Volume 1 and 2020 Volume 1 in Wellington. And then I got Volume 2 of 2019 and 2020 in Akron. And then I got a DVD. Two DVDs for thirteen dollars, and then this video is gonna. This video is going to be too long, so I'll do the VHSs in part two. Bye.